Somehow no intro was made for this video. So here's the intro. I'm showing you three different food concoctions that I have made in my dorm room. And maybe if you're in a dorm room, you can try some of these out. Or maybe you just want to have some really quick, simple meals where you don't need a ton of equipment. Because in a dorm room, you don't really have a ton of equipment. So let's get into it. I have no idea why I didn't talk through these clips. It must have been a day I just thought I was gonna do a voiceover for it. That's not what I was planning on doing now, but I guess we're gonna have to do a voiceover. Here is my pancake bowl. And this is not an original idea. I did see it online, but I love it. So I'm using Kodiak cakes, pancakes. This is the chocolate chip flavor that I'm using. And then I use any type of nut butter. You can top it with literally anything, fruit, chocolate chips, nuts, nut butters, like I'm doing. First things first, I zero out my scale and I put a serving of Kodiak cakes. I think a serving of Kodiak cakes is 53 grams. So that is what I am trying to do right here. Get it to 53 grams and eventually I do get it to 53 grams. All right, 53 grams and then I add some water until you get a thin pancake consistency. Don't add a ton at once because then you could do it too much, but I had to gradually add and just keep stirring. And then you'll see at the very end, the thin pancake consistency that we are looking for. Right now it kind of looks like cookie dough, but it doesn't look like good cookie dough. So keep adding until it gets to a good consistency. Okay, yeah, there we go. The drippage, you can see that now. All right, now we're gonna stick it into the microwave for two minutes. Now, not just normal two minutes, two minutes on power level seven. This cooks it a little slower on like less power in a microwave. So power level seven for two minutes. And after it comes out at power level seven, you can see that most of it's cooked, but the inside isn't. So then you put it on full blast for about 30 seconds. So 30 seconds, full power, go. Now we take it out and we can see that it is fully cooked. That's always a plus when something is fully cooked. Okay, so I just zero out the scale with my nut butter so I can get a serving of nut butter. A serving of American Dream nut butter, which is the best nut butter, by the way, is 28 grams. This is the Going Bananas flavor. It's one of my favorite flavors. I don't even know if it's still on the website, but it's so good. Here is the pancake bowl. So you see the chocolate chips from the pancake mix got all in there and it's super yummy and delicious. And the banana and chocolate flavor in this one was really good. Like I'm craving it right now, but I don't have any of those ingredients anymore. All right, so I put some pancake syrup on top. This is Walden Farms calorie-free pancake syrup. You can do full-blown maple syrup. I don't care what you put on top. You could put honey, but that's it. That's my pancake bowl. Apparently, we're gonna move on really quickly to the next one. This is a breakfast wrap sort of thing with Joseph's Pita Bread. Joseph's Pita Bread has much higher protein than most other wraps, and I think it is really good. Um, it tastes really delicious, so that's a plus. All right, I'm gonna cook my egg whites. I'm just putting a serving of egg, no, two servings of egg whites into a bowl, which is about 100 grams, and I do two minutes in the microwave at full power for 100 grams. If you're gonna do 50 grams, do a minute. If you're gonna do 150, do three minutes, but I did two minutes for 100 grams. Now I take my pita thing and put laughing cow cheese on it. Laughing cow cheese is wonderful. It's a spreadable cheese wedge. There's so many flavors, that's the Asiago flavor. All right, egg whites coming out, and I cut it in half just to fit it in the, on the pita better kind of looks really, really strange right now in this clip, but I promise it's not. And you want to add some salt and pepper. I do not have salt and pepper, but in the next recipe, I do have salt and pepper for the egg whites, but it's still muy, muy bueno. Okay, finally, we're about to hear me talk. Okay, cool. Good morning, good morning. So, here I am, weeks later from the footage that was before me because I looked at my computer and I was like, I have this footage of two different food things that I filmed several weeks ago and I just need to finish the video but I want to show you a third thing because typically when I do a food video I always show three different recipes this last recipe I'm going to show you is very similar to the first recipe but I'm about to make breakfast so I might as well just show you what I'm going to eat for breakfast because the other two things were breakfast things so I'm going to make a breakfast sandwich let's show you what I typically use for my breakfast sandwich in a dorm room first things first 
pretty much any kind of bread that you like. However, if you just get normal bread, then it could get a little soggy because you probably don't have a toaster in your dorm room. I have used English muffins. I love English muffins, but they do get pretty messy because the seeds on them go everywhere. So I found these bagel thins. Um, the brand is Thomas. They also have an everything seasoning bagel, but I don't do onions and garlic, so I got the plain ones. I really like these. Their flavor is really good and the texture is good and it doesn't get soggy when I add the egg whites to it. So on that note, it's just egg whites, laughing cow cheese, and then whatever else you want to put on it. You could add tomatoes. That'd be really good. You could add bacon. I have deli turkey that sometimes I add to it. Today I'm just going to do the egg and cheese, but you can customize it and make it super good super good. I actually added beef jerky to it before. That was an interesting day, but it worked. So, I have egg whites that I cook in the microwave, and then laughing cow cheese. So this is the Asiago flavor. I also have the aged white cheddar flavor in the fridge. I'm going to just use up my last Asiago wedge this morning. So, first things first, I cooked the egg whites in the microwave just like I did for the first video. But I'll just show you again how I do it. I put it in a bowl, put it in the microwave for about 100 grams. I do two minutes in the microwave. So, that's about like two servings, and I do two minutes in the microwave. Shake it up. I'm actually going to go over today because I'm just going to use up the rest. So that's 150, so I'll do three minutes in the microwave. I need to clean our microwave. It's pretty gross, but here we go. I'm going to do three minutes, like I said, because I did more egg whites than I typically do. Then I get a plate and a knife, and I spread the Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge onto the bagel. This is the light from the sun. It kind of looks cool. It looks like I'm spreading butter almost, and I don't like butter. I promise it's not butter. The egg whites are done cooking. I typically just stick them straight into the freezer to cool them down really quickly because I'm not very patient. So I'm going to stick them in the freezer just to cool it down a little bit. Egg whites are done. I'm going to put them on the bagel. This is a, a big egg white patty because it's more than I typically use because I was just trying to finish it off. But here's the most important step of all. Salt and pepper. It takes this to a whole new level. I didn't have salt and pepper in my room for about the first month here, and I was eating this and I was like, this is not what it normally is, like it is at my house. Salt and pepper. Key component. Some salt action. Pepper time. Boom. Boom. Yummy yum. Those are all of the concoctions I have created. Not all of them. Those are some of the concoctions I've created in my dorm that maybe you would like to try out if you're living in a dorm or if you just want some really simple breakfast recipes. The Bible, for, the, 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 the Bible verse I want to talk about today comes from Philippians. In our small group in church, we're going through Philippians, and Philippians 4, 8 is what I want to talk about. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable. If there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about those things. This was such a beautiful reminder to me to think about wonderful things and what the Lord has blessed us with. Our small group leader asked us, what is the word that we want to focus on? Is it true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, commendable, or excellent? And the word I want to focus on is honorable. I need to focus on, I need to think about things that are honorable. Sometimes I'm really quick to judge other people, not out loud, but in my head. I'll think about things like, oh, why are they doing that? Or why did they say that? But that's not honorable. If I said that out loud, that'd be extremely rude and that's just not honorable whatsoever. So that's my word I want to focus on. So I want to challenge you to think about the word that you need to focus on. And I hope this encouraged you today. Don't forget you're welcome to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. If you have any video requests at all, just let me know down below. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and be a blessing to others today. Hi guys.